June 5th, Exodus chapter 25, verse 22. And there I will meet with you, and I will speak with you from above the mercy seat, from between the two cherubim, which are on the ark of the testimony, of all things which I will give you in commandment to the children of Israel. A famous artist was commissioned to paint the portrait of a wealthy lady. After weeks of labor, the painting was ready for viewing. The painter removed the covering from the picture for her inspection. Observing his work, the lady said disdainfully, I don't believe you have done me justice. Madam, the artist replied, I don't believe you want justice, you want mercy. God gave Moses very detailed instructions not only on the building of the tabernacle, but also for every piece of furniture that was to go in it. Included in the furnishings was the Ark of the Covenant. It was just a box, approximately 45 inches long, 27 inches wide, and 27 inches high. But it was covered with gold. This Ark was placed in the Holy of Holies. An area of the tabernacle where God manifested himself in a special way. On top of it was a lid of pure gold with a golden cherub at each end. This lid was called the mercy seat. When Moses met with God at the Ark of the Covenant, his thoughts were not on justice. They were on mercy. In later years, as pilgrims made their way to the temple, they sang, If you, Lord, should mark iniquities, who could stand? Psalm 130, verse 3. When we come before God, our goal is not to find justice. Our heart's cry is for mercy. Today, as you meet with God, ask for His unlimited mercy. The Bible says, let us, therefore, come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. Look to God's mercy and you'll never be disappointed. Jesus endured the pain of God's justice so we could enjoy the pleasure of God's mercy. Amen.